Candace Jedrowitz picked her favorite project from this year. And as we mentioned earlier, when I was chatting with Heidi, you guessed it. You I did. It. I did because it was it just was it was totally me. And it's just like I really love that one. Remember when we were doing that project too, we were talking about the, the mirror that I'm working on that's got all the little things and I haven't got much further than when we were talking about it, but um, I just I just love it when things are glued, all those little gathering things. Well, today Candace is sharing her kitschy pedestal. Hi Candace. Hi, Candace. Hi ladies. Hey everybody. You're back in my studio of Perpetual Mojo again and you are always welcome. Today I am going to talk about my most favorite project all year long, my kitschy clock. I just loved putting every little knick-knack and doodad and hoochie bob on it and I love the way it looks on my mantle. And I know I need at least one other kitschy piece up there. So sit back and relax. Get comfy, cause here we go. I brought my kitschy clock down for inspiration and to make sure that I would have enough similar elements for these to look really wonderful together on my mantle. This is a wooden box and it's about five inches across and I've already done some shoring up of this piece because it's going to be a pedestal and may hold one of my heavier ceramics. So I used lots of feet and I screwed them in and then I have another piece inside of here that's just as tall as the box so that if the weight is on the center it will absolutely support it. This also means that I won't be putting anything on the top. I'll just be working on the sides. I've started by using a pencil to draw a wavy line because that's where I want to put my saying everyone needs a little kitsch. So it's going to wind around and I'll put that on first and then I've laid out lots of fun cool elements to add to it. So let's get started. I'm using a hot glue gun and tweezers to place my small items and I do have some much smaller items but I have some lovely big accents as well I'm gonna wait till the end to clean off all of my little hot glue gun strings Oop. This is a polymer clay donut bead and of course we're going to have to have a cup of coffee with it. There we go, donut and coffee, yay! Ooh, I think that's going to fit nice there. This is a piece of dichroic glass and I've glued some wire onto it wrapped and glued. So I'm going to go around placing all of the larger pieces. And then I'll go back and do some of the smaller ones. I've added all of the big ones that I think I want to use and now I'm adding smaller ones filling in with oh, a bunch of different things and then the last step will be to add the top rim I have all my large pieces now and most of my small pieces in and you can see over here I've started to layer on top of things and that's how that goes. You just find things that fit in and fill in without covering your most favorite parts and just keep on gluing. Oh my goodness, I just love this. I'm all finished. I've added all kinds of layers and 
you can't see some of my original pieces underneath except for just a little bit of a glimmer, but that's okay with me. I think that the layering really makes it interesting. And anywhere you find little leftover pieces of hot glue, just do a soft toothbrush in a circular motion and it will clean them up. Hello, Kitchyliciousness! I just love this stuff. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do my whole house. Oh, I'm going to do the outside of my house with this. <gasps> that would be so awesome, wouldn't it? I guess I better get to work. I'm going to hand it back to you guys. Stay crafty, my friends. I'm going to go make some more kitsch.